Stick around to see this quick and easy jellyfish costume that I made for this Halloween that even the non-crafty people can do. Yes, you right there, sir. <laughs> Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. Hey everybody, it's me, I'm back again, day two, two videos in a row, don't you like that? <sighs> I know. Well, what you can do to show your appreciation is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell, set it to all so you know every time that I post. This is all that I used, umbrella, bubble wrap, um, some metallic streamers, and tape, and scissors. Yeah, <laughs> the whole shopping list is down below if you wanna see it, but really, it doesn't take a lot. Now, if you don't have bubble wrap, you can use a trash bag as well, like this Flex Grab trash bag. That kinda gives the same effect. And I mean, save your coin. Don't spend money if you don't have to. And I usually save all my bubble wrap. Never throw it away. It's always good for a craft. But I ended up buying that one for $5 at Target. You can too. Now, these lights came from Amazon. I got 16 in a pack. They're LED blue lights. Oh, they're so pretty. And that's really what makes this a show-stopping costume. So you definitely need this. No sh shortcut in this. But I don't think it was too much. Everything is in the description box. Go ahead, click the link, see the prices, and you make your mind up from there. And these are how the stream look and I think this just brings a whole nother element to the craft so I wanted it to reflect off the lights to make the costume illuminate more but you really don't need this I'm gonna show you two ways to do these costumes one with the streamers and one without and you can choose which one you would rather do all right so let's go ahead and get into it guys go ahead and start by opening our umbrella I know bad luck right well not this one is clear so it don't count <laughs> All right, so go ahead and open the umbrella. This is the shape it's giving. I love it. I love it. it looks very uh, jellyfish like right? So all you're gonna do now is tape everything to it That's it and I'm taping things because I want to use this umbrella as an umbrella when Halloween is over I'm not gonna just like buy this umbrella and use it for one day. No, that's not me So <laughs> start by taking your lights guys. You have to unravel them too so unravel them all and then tape the base to the bottom of the umbrella like I'm doing right here, you see? And then you're just gonna fish the lights through the umbrella, like this. And then you just tape it so it doesn't move. And I'm using just like packing tape, tape that you would pack a package with. And then you're gonna keep doing it as well. Now notice guys, I'm not making it very tight. You see how I got the lights very loose flowy that's what you want because that's what a jellyfish really looks like when they're in the tank and they have those lights on them i don't know if you've ever been to aquariums but that's kind of where i got this idea from um i love jellyfish when i take my daughters to the aquarium we have one here in charlotte and you don't want to make the lights too tight you want them to be like very flowy so don't make them tight let them dangle a little bit and this is what it looks like when the lights are on so you can do it with the lights on i suggest that because you can see what you're doing as you're doing it now you don't have to i mean but you can't mess this up i'm just gonna stress that enough you cannot mess this craft up because all you do is attach the lights now here's another option that you guys can do you can um, do the bubble wrap while you're doing the lights. It'll save you a lot of time. So go ahead and cut some strips of bubble wrap. Cut it into any shape, size, thickness. Just cut some strips, okay? And then you see that I'm doing the same process, but at the bottom I am taping the bubble wrap to save some time so I don't have to go back and do it, you know?
And this is the last step if you are using um, the streamer. So you are adding those at the end. I just kind of like wrap, it's a string that comes with it. So wrap that string around the base, tape it in place really good so it doesn't fall off. And then you are done with this jellyfish. This is the look that she is giving. See, all I used was tape and the three products I mentioned earlier, and this is the jellyfish. I love this, basic, simple, easy, and the best part, I glow in the dark, so safety-wise, if I'm trick-or-treating, this is a good costume because people will always see you. So um, you can also close it. That's the good thing about it. So if you're transporting it to a party, I wouldn't suggest this at a party though. People gonna be mad at you. But if you're <laughs> traveling, you can close it. Ooh, so I made another one for my husband. This is his. And I noticed a trick. So if you're having a hard time fishing the lights through, I think that's the hardest part that I had because they are very skinny and de dainty like, you know? What you can do is take the battery pack and just fish that through. That's what I'm doing on his. I'm taking the battery and I'm going in first with it, looping it through the base of the umbrella and taping it down. That's another trick you can do. Um, I feel like it tangles less the LED lights when you do it that way, but to each his own, I mean, that's this is the hardest part is just putting the lights on because you just have to fish it through. So once I did that same process, I added some of the bubble wrap and I am done with my costumes. Now, all you need to do to complete this look is wear all black, wear all black so nobody can see you. You know, it's puppetry, y'all, I'm theater. I got you. <laughs> so that's his and this one is mine. So you see one with streamers, one without streamers. You decide. It it looks a little different, yes. I like the streamers, but like I said, you do not have to have it. Just double up on the bubble wrap. <laughs> and that is it. So if you wanna see how these costumes turned out, we had an under the sea theme. Please visit my Instagram, guys. I will put pictures of our night tonight. We're going trick-or-treating and to a party. So I'm gonna put some pictures on there so you guys can see how it everything turned out and how we always do our themed family costumes so follow me instagram and guys i hope you have a happy safe halloween please be safe check that candy watch out for the cars bring a flashlight be safe and wear your mask and i will see you guys on my next video click one of these videos to keep watching and continue the fun and don't forget to like this video bye y'all